I think, um, you know, having had to play a, a young corner before, I think the things that I always looked for was, obviously you look for the competitiveness, you look for all the good things that, you know, he's out there and he's playing with confidence. But I always look for what's his understanding of his role. Uh, so does he understand why we're putting him in here in, in this particular role right now? Um, <clears throat> if he understands that, uh, then you move toward towards how's he actually playing it? Is he doing it well? You know, sometimes guys can understand it but really not play it well because then they don't they don't play it fast. Uh, so you look at those two things and then there's usually a moment where you just go, okay, I think this guy's ready. You're ready to throw him in and understand that you may take some lumps with him at some point, uh, but that he'll grow through those humps. Um, and, I, and I've had that. I shoot my first year in the league. Um, we drafted Marcus Trufant and, and he ended up starting right off the bat. I was in Arizona. My next stop, we drafted uh, DRC, and it was the same thing. He wasn't. He started off the season as a uh, as a third corner, and I think it was about week six. It, was, it got to the point where you said, "Hey, listen, I think this guy's ready." Even though we know there's going to be some some growing pains, but he's ready. And like I said, he had a better understanding in, in, in five or six weeks of game action. He had a better understanding. He had a better feel for the NFL game, and it was time to let him go. And I, and I don't know when Joey's time is going to be, but. When it comes, I think we'll